right, guys. See you the tool addict. Woo! I gotta tell you, I'm just sweating with gratitude that you're here today. <laughs> now I mean that literally, literally, literally. I am sweating with gratitude that you're here today. Um, trying to avoid the heat, been working at night. So, anyways, today I want to say I got something real nice. This is Japan, Japanese finest. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm the least likely Japan uh, tool enthusiast, I guess. You know, you would think of a guy with bib overalls and whatnot would not be a huge fan of Japanese tools, but I got to tell you. My bid for Japanese tools is probably the most consistent out of any tool company on the market today. Um, they deliver. They deliver the quality. Um, they've been pretty good. So um, I'm going to check these out. I've heard a couple of negative things. But uh, we're going to check them out and see. And I thought I would show you. I do know that for a fact one of these is really good. But uh, the company that I'm going to talk about today is uh, Fujia and Weiss and Victor and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about if I'm gonna show you a couple of these things I'm gonna talk about later we're gonna do a different video because I gotta do some more stuff on them but uh, we're gonna set a couple of these tools aside um, and we're gonna we're gonna catch those on another video because I want really, really want to focus on these two deals right here right now so let's jump right into the video shall we and let's get right down to brass tacks all right, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if you hear a wind noise or a fan noise. It is hotter than a pop a fart, popcorn fart in a skillet. So uh, definitely uh, I apologize for that, but I'll try to. I'm sure you'll be able to hear me pretty good for nonetheless. But today we have the Kokura Fujia pliers, the 200 millimeters, and the Victor Plus Plus. And I'm going to show you some, some things about these and whatnot and talk about them and kind of give you my uh, feelings and whatnot. Uh, the Victor Plus Plus is I am really, really digging. Not going to lie to you. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that these are, when it comes down to me picking apart something for what they are, uh, I got to tell you the Victor Plus Pluses, and they're a little dirty. I have been using them. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, in fact, the mirror finish, and I've showed them on couple people's live streams and been talking about them but damn just look at that finish let me see if I can polish them up a little bit for you so they're not looking so I mean when they say mirror finish on them they're not joking you that ladies and gentlemen is a mirror finish yeah just awesome pliers you can see that they have the pivot these are pretty high leverage they're pretty far forward on these now project farm just did a video and they were actually using fujias and they did very well in the video so if you haven't checked out project farms video i would definitely check it out and uh, he added in some japanese once again japanese and the channel lock brand for two videos in a row which i've heard a lot of people talk about channel lock being not as good and I got to tell you I've never really had a problem with channel lock and uh, I've actually thought that my channel locks that I use are pretty good and I would say that they are second to the possibly the Fujias I don't remember which version he has now the Kukuras or uh, Kurikin Kur Kur uh, however you say that which I'm not going to lie to you is a little bit different this is kind of an electrician's brand these are considered professional uh, professional brand and this is 175 millimeter seven inch I guess it's fun. it's actually pretty interesting that Japan put seven inch on there uh, to be honest with you but uh, and I can't read any of that so if you guys can read any of that let me know uh, down in the comment box but that is authentic Japanese writing the only thing I can read is the 175 millimeter and the Z S 880-175 which is the part number for <coughs> for those so let's talk about the differences obviously it's a different plier and you can see that the, the pivot point on this one's way farther back uh, so this is not technically a high leverage this is more of an electrician electrician's lineman's pliers and I do have several 
Fuji pliers. Kind of throw them in the mix here. These are the um, screw extractor pliers. Come on in there, focus in there, little feller. These are the screw extractors. These are the high leverage, so these would be a 200 millimeter high leverage pliers. And you can see that Fujia has a knurling type of design on their handles. And you can see that the pivot on this is different, plus the pin's smaller. Uh, a lot closer right here to the opening of the jaw, so this would be a higher leverage and induction hardened and forward edged on this. Um, these are these are pretty good cutters. I'm not quite sure the capability, and I do believe it says kind of on the back here, um, if I can read it where it says 20%. Mm, no, I'm not reading Japanese. They do have an, uh, an Instagram. But, oh, there's your there's your cutting sizes right there. Looks like it's a there your, your bolts up to. I don't know what size bolt that is. I'd say that's like a piano wire, copper wire, 3.5, 2.5 steel wire, 2.5, so piano wire would be what it is. Uh, VF, VVW, VVF cable, like that. Um, we've got a few things we'll cut and test, and we'll kind of look at that but and see the differences of these two pliers, possibly the three. I I really like these high leverage Fujias. They've been working out really good, and haven't had any problem with them these are the 200s a tw 700 but uh japan quality guys what can i say i do like the, the spring loaded it's got the lanyard loop on the end of here let me throw the camera down real quick don't worry about that cp follix here um lanyard loop here on the end which is extremely nice but uh overall craftsmanship of these pliers is absolutely um just awesome a little bit of fluid leaking out of here pretty decent finish it's kind of got like that black chrome finish on them let's go ahead and take a let's take a lick at some wire i don't know what it is about gold tools being black and gold tools but uh, apparently i've got a thing for them let's take a little few snips here on these and see just how well they cut uh just uh some mechanics wire here nice clean cut does a pretty good job it's not too too bad the victors are definitely a lot more positive on the click on them um, and these ones really do a good job I, I do tend to like the victors and I will tell you the one thing I like about the victors is I do like the handle but this is this is one big thing that I will tell you about quality and pliers and shout out to uh, Last Best Tool, Doc. Um, he was actually making a comment about this, about pliers and their, and their tension and whatnot and being broken. Um, you can see the difference. These ones obviously open up really nice, and I do like that. Because when you're making a bunch of quick cuts, which an electrician, that's exactly what these are, these are going to be great for, is when you're making a bunch of quick cuts as an electrician, that's the most, big, that's the most important thing is it'll make it quicker. Whereas this one's not really an electrician's, but it is a professional cutter. But, I mean, it just opens up well machined. These are just super high quality uh, pliers. And when they say professional on them, they're not joking. And they're not expen terribly expensive. The grips on these things are absolutely astounding. Uh, these are, I, I would take these over to snap on any day of the week. These are by far my favorite grips that I've had on a, a pair of pliers to date. These Victors are absolutely amazing. Um, the design on them is pretty comfortable, too. Um, they're all made in Japan, just to say, authentic, authentic J Japanese tools here. They're both made in Japan. Come on, little feller. Focus in there, little feller. Made in Japan, Victor and the Fujias. But uh, take some cuts on the... Uh, let's take some cuts on some speaker cable here and see uh see what we think about that i dude these things just they're like butter man i mean they are like butter i can't even tell you how nice it is and clean look at the clean cuts on that just absolutely phenomenal and uh, of course the fujia this is probably where it's going to shine better or really going to shine and it is no 
no exception to the rule cutting wire which if you're doing a lot of wire cutting the Fujias electricians anybody that's an electrician these are really gonna probably stand out awesome for you uh, let's check them against let's just look at the high leverage here man I really like the texture on these though too high leverage are a different feel I don't know if it's because of the pivot point they kind of really snap through it but uh, still a clean cut great pliers here um, I, the Victors really blew me away I gotta tell you these might be some of the finest pliers on the planet hands down um, comparing them to the snap-on I can tell you this much lack of rust is definitely it's gonna win over the snap-ons on my opinion when it comes to side cutters it's got an induction hardened Ford edge uh, look at the machine or just you know they, they took their time on everything they did here on this and they're just absolutely beautiful 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 pliers so anyways guys my toolgasm is over with this, and uh, Fujia is definitely a top contender in my books for pliers. Um, obviously, you can see you have a couple different choices. Victor, Weiss, um, and Fujia are all under the same company, so these are all the same brand. And what you would have here, in my opinion, is you would have a mechanics slash DIYer brand, which is relatively inexpensive. You would have a professional or mechanic uh, brand and then you'd have an electrician's brand and that's what really sets them off that's what I really like about Fujia they really have a, a plier for almost every instance um, in my opinion I have a bunch of Fujia pliers I haven't even went over um, I should do another video if you guys want to see another video on the Fujias I have about 20 more Fujia pliers that I have and I absolutely uh, I haven't had a, a bunch of time using them but uh, enough that I definitely am a fan of Fujia. So anyways guys, that's the video for you. Remember like comment share subscribe Ring that bell. Remember Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching